Hey folks, this is Brad PCMac.com, and today we're going to show you how to uh, look up the all the uh, data that the uh, Windows 10 applications are using under the hood in your computer. Uh, so one way you can do this is go to Task Manager, which you can access by typing into the search bar Task Manager and clicking the app there, or you can right-click on the Start menu and click on Task Manager here. From here, we can click on App History, and we can get a overview of what all the uh, native Windows 10 apps have been uh, or are taking up. Um, so you'll see that Cortana has taken a little bit. Uh, but the downside that of, of this is that it only shows you app native applications. In other words, you won't see information on applications that aren't from the Windows Store. So to do this, we're going to close the Task Manager. We're going to go into the Start menu and type in Settings. We'll click on the Settings app and then we'll go to this network and internet category. From here you can go down to the data usage pane and you'll get a little graph of where your uh, internet data has been going, so over Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Uh, but to get more individual details on what the apps have been taking up, even the non-Windows Store apps, you can click on this Usage Details button. It'll take just a minute to load and then you'll get a overview of what applications and programs on your computer have been taking up data over the last 30 days. Uh, obviously there isn't much here since this is just a uh, test computer I use but you'll see uh, Google Drive is the biggest indicator here um, but if you were to say you're a gamer who downloads a lot of games from Steam or uh, Battle.net uh, up here you would see uh, the Steam icon as well as the uh, Battle.net icon uh, and it'll show you how much uh, data you've downloaded from that. So if you've downloaded like four large games, uh, you'd see it's say 80, 100, 120 gigabytes. And it's really neat uh, if you have something on your computer that you don't know is taking up a lot of data uh, and even potentially throttling your bandwidth connection. Uh, this is a great way to find out what it is, what is going on and uh, tracking that down and hopefully taking care of it. And yeah, that's all there is to it, folks. Uh, for more great videos, be sure to head on over to our YouTube channel. And we also wrote up a companion article with this video, which you can check out in the link in the description below. Once again, I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time.